Welcome guys to the occult. Even in the 21st century, there are few places on the planet which are uninhabited or have very low population like lonely mountaintops, desert interiors, Antarctica and thousands of scattered islands in the ocean. In today's video you will come to know about one such isolated place in the world where people live peacefully without any interference from rest of the world. Tristan da Cunha Islands Tristan da Cunha owes its name to the Portuguese sailor Tristão da Cunha, who sighted the island in 1506 during his route towards the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. It then took 137 years before the first landing on the coast of that inhospitable island in the middle of Atlantic Ocean. It was done by the crew of the Dutch East India Company ship, who also left an inscribed tablet on the island. The first person who actually ever lived on the island was the American Jonathan Lambert from Massachusetts. He lived with the sailors Andrew Millet and Thomas O'Corey which were of Italian origin. Tristan da Cunha is known as the remotest inhabited island in the world. British island group of Tristan da Cunha stands profoundly alone in the South Atlantic Ocean. The nearest land is South Africa which is 1750 miles east island of Tristan da Cunha. Have a population of 244 people with only 9 different last names. There is no restaurant hotels and hospital in the island although there is a cafe. The locals of island are totally dependent on agriculture and farming. They eat what they grow, and if they want to get any product, essential or non-essential they have to wait several months to get it. The locals speak English, but have also invented their own language with words derived from Scottish, English, South African. Dutch, Italian, and Irish, which depicts the various places of origin of the residents. The island even have a volcano which no one knows is active or non-active. The volcano last erupted on 10th of October 1961, and luckily no one was injured. If you're thinking to visit Tristan the Cunha it is not that easy. The only way to reach the island is by water transport which takes 6 to 7 days to reach there from Cape Town, South Africa. You can't just turn up in Cape Town and jump on a ship to Tristan the Cunha. You have to do several formalities which is compulsory to do if you want to visit the island. So what do you guys think about the island? Will you ever visit it? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.